I see you're looking at a little problem. Beavers, bugs, and getting into Harvard. Of course, we must be talking about fast food rumors. What else? Are your favorite restaurant chains in the news for all the wrong reasons? Well, once again, we're uncovering 10 fast food rumors that ended up being true. Let's go, let's go. Empty cookie sheets to get you drooling. Do you know what a Cinnabon is? It's a secret so deliciously sneaky that even the most ardent food skeptics raise their eyebrows in astonishment. Cinnabon, the undisputed master of cinnamon-tinged indulgence, bakes empty cookie sheets to get you drooling. Cinnabon isn't constantly churning out those mouth-watering cinnamon buns fresh from the oven. Instead, they have a cunningly delicious strategy up their sleeve. Empty cookie sheets infused with the magical aroma of cinnamon, designed to lure you in like a moth to a flame. Cinnabon understands the primal power of scent. As you walk by the Cinnabon store, the scent of freshly baked cinnamon wafts out, wrapping itself around your senses like a warm, sweet embrace. We've all been there. You're strolling through the mall, and there it is, that irresistible warm smell of cinnamon. Welcome to Cinnabon. Would you like a Cinnabon? It whispers promises of sweet, soft, gooey cinnamon rolls. That intoxicating aroma is designed to unleash a a torrent of cravings you never knew you had. It's a cunning trick, and it works wonders. So next time you stroll by a Cinnabon outlet, remember the sweet secret that lingers in the air. Uh, I'm just a big toasty cinnamon bun. Harvard-level competition at McD's. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? You might have heard the rumor that landing a job at McDonald's can be as competitive as securing a spot at Harvard. It sounds absurd, right? Let's take a journey through the astonishing statistics that might make you reconsider your fast food assumptions. Every year, Harvard University accepts just around 7% of applicants, turning away the vast majority in pursuit of academic excellence. Now shift your attention from the hallowed halls of Harvard to the bustling kitchens of McDonald's. Would you believe that just over a decade ago, it was even more challenging to become a part of the McDonald's crew than to get accepted at Harvard? That's right, McDonald's had a lower acceptance rate than Harvard, accepting only 6.2% of applicants during one hiring blitz. I want you to deal with your problems! by becoming rich! While the exact figures may vary over time, this startling fact highlights the fierce competition for entry-level positions at McDonald's. The reasons behind this are multifold. A high demand for jobs, a vast pool of applicants, and the pursuit of a steady paycheck in turbulent economic times. But here's where it gets even more astonishing. While Harvard remains an exclusive club for the academic elite, roughly one in eight American workers has, at at some point, served under the Golden Arches. This means that millions of people from all walks of life have donned the uniform, flipped burgers, and cheerfully asked, You want fries with that? That cheese isn't really cheese. Fake or real? Super fake. Yep, the cheese on those delectable fast food burgers isn't real cheese at all, or at least not the type of cheese you'd hope for. The cheese that often graces fast food burgers is indeed a processed cheese product, not what you typically find on a gourmet cheese platter. So what's the story behind that orange cheese slice? These cheese slices are crafted to achieve that ideal melt and ooze when they meet that searing patty. But they're not exactly a dairy purist's dream. They're loaded with emulsifiers, stabilizers, preservatives, and a host of other ingredients to give them that signature texture, consistency, and the ability to melt like a dream under the heat of the grill. Mm, 64 slices of American cheese. Why does fast food opt for these processed cheese slices? Well, there are a few reasons. Firstly, they provide an incredibly consistent and reliable cheese experience for each burger every time. It doesn't separate or become greasy, ensuring that your burger looks and tastes the same no matter where or when you order it. Secondly, the product's shelf life is impressive thanks to those preservatives, making these cheese slices an ideal fit for the fast food industry's demands for efficiency and cost cost-effectiveness. But here's the twist. While this may not be your artisanal cheese, the processed cheese slices are still derived from actual cheese, which is how fast food chains get away with calling it cheese. So the next time you indulge in a fast food burger, remember that the cheese slice may not be a purist's dream, but it's an integral part of what makes fast food burgers so delicious. I want more. And I know I shouldn't. 
first time here? Well, our channel is like a virtual video drive through but without the wait. So hit that subscribe button and enjoy the ride. Beaver is the secret ingredient? Uh, are you sure? Wait, hold the phone. Beavers in our food? Believe it or not, these industrious little critters play a surprising role in creating some of the sweet flavors and scents we adore, especially in the realm of fast food. It all starts with a rather unusual gland in a rather unusual place, the beaver's posterior. This gland secretes a substance that humans have ingeniously harnessed as a flavor and scent enhancer in various products, and it's known as castorium. This substance is typically used by adult beavers to mark their territory in a way that's, well, distinctly beaver-like. And it turns out that when processed correctly, it carries a sweet vanilla-like scent. Fast food chains and dessert makers often use it to enhance the flavor of their vanilla offerings. So you might be enjoying a vanilla-flavored milkshake or ice cream, unaware that a beaver's perfume is part of the secret recipe. Now you might be thinking, why in the world do they use beaver secretions when they could just use vanilla extract. It comes down to cost and availability. Real vanilla can be quite pricey, and its production can be susceptible to fluctuations in supply. Castorium, on the other hand, can be a cost-effective and stable source of that sweet vanilla-like flavor. The weirdest part? You might be consuming this beaver-enhanced goodness without even knowing it. Castorium often hides in plain sight on ingredient lists labeled simply as natural flavoring. It's the food industry's way of keeping the beaver's secret hush-hush. So the next time you're savoring that creamy, dreamy vanilla dessert at your favorite fast food joint, remember that beavers may have had a hand, or perhaps a tail, in enhancing your culinary experience. Delicious! Taco Bell doesn't serve 100% beef. All of our ingredients are sourced from Mexico. There's a persistent fast food rumor that has made the rounds for years, casting a shadow over indulging in Taco Bell. It's the whispered suspicion that Taco Bell's ground beef isn't real beef. But as we delve into the details, you'll discover that the reality is far more nuanced than the rumor suggests. Taco Bell's ground beef isn't just any old mystery meat. It's made with a mixture of 88% beef and a blend of additives eloquently described by Taco Taco Bell as seasonings, spices, water, and other ingredients that provide taste, texture, and moisture. This means that Taco Bell's ground beef is, in fact, predominantly beef, it's just not 100% beef. Liar! The additives play a role in enhancing the overall experience of Taco Bell's ground beef. They provide the flavor and texture that are essential components of a truly good taco. While some may leap to conclusions based on the presence of additives, it's crucial to remember that Many additives are commonly used in food production to enhance taste and texture, not necessarily to deceive or compromise quality. You want to go to Taco Bell? Chemical-laden salads. I don't have any salad. <laughs> You might have heard a rumor that's been circulating like a dietary ghost story. The one about fast food salads being suspiciously laden with chemicals. It's the kind of revelation that makes you squirm in your salad-loving seat. But here's the twist. This particular rumor isn't just an urban legend, it's true. And it's all about the sneaky chemicals like propylene glycol that keep your fast food salads fresh, crunchy, and oh so delicious. Propylene glycol, a synthetic chemical, is indeed used to maintain the crispness of fast food salads. Here's your salad. It's part of a family of food additives known as humectants. They help retain moisture, ensuring those lettuce leaves stay perky and crisp rather than wilted and sad. Now, you might be tempted to raise an eyebrow and wonder why on earth we're adding chemicals to something as virtuous as a salad. The answer is simple. It's all about maintaining quality and consistency. Fast food is, by nature, Nature, a product of mass production and distribution. And as salads travel from kitchen to counter, they need a little extra help staying fresh and tasty. The use of chemicals ensures that the lettuce doesn't become a limp, lifeless, unappetizing mess by the time it reaches your eager hands. They help preserve the visual appeal and texture that makes salads so appealing in the first place. What's this? Salad? Bug soup. What's in the soup? 
What are you putting in the soup? Here's a rumor that might make you squirm in your seat. The whispers that Tim Horton's chicken noodle soup might have some uninvited guests in the mix. But this time, it's not just an unsettling rumor, it's an eyebrow-raising truth that unfolded in 2022. The beloved Canadian coffee and fast food chain, known for its comforting soup offerings, found itself in quite a soup scandal. In a rather unexpected twist, the chicken noodle soup base was contaminated with bugs, and this contamination spread its wings in Tim Hortons restaurants across Ontario and Alberta before anyone noticed. It's a stomach-turning revelation that makes you wonder how something like this could happen in a reputable establishment. This is terrible. Imagine ordering a comforting bowl of chicken noodle soup, craving the familiar warmth and flavor. And unbeknownst to you, that hearty spoonful could contain more than you anticipated. Once the contamination was discovered, swift action was taken and the tainted soup base was recalled. It's a stark reminder that even in the world of fast food, where convenience and reliability are key, unexpected surprises can still happen. We don't want to get into what they were before. Hundreds of cows in one serving. Moo? Hold on to your taste buds because we've got a fast food rumor that'll make you see burgers in a whole new light. You may have heard whispers about each hamburger containing more cows than you can count. Well, it sounds like a tall tale, but it's true, in a way. Each fast food burger can indeed feature a multitude of cows in one delicious serving, sometimes as many as a hundred. This is because a typical fast food burger patty isn't made from a single, uniform piece of beef. Instead, it's composed of a blend of ground beef from various parts of several cows, including parts like the chuck, round, and sirloin. These cuts are ground en masse, leading to multiple cattle in each burger. It's all part of the process of delivering your fast food favorites at an affordable and timely rate. Oh, that is good sandwich. There's what in your soda? Would you like a soda? Just kidding. This revelation just might have you rethinking your beverage choices. The rumor that there's fecal matter in soda. The unsettling reality is that this rumor has turned out to be true. How did something as unsavory as fecal matter end up in your favorite carbonated refreshment? The answers may give you pause, or at least have you looking at your fast food soda with newfound suspicion. You may want to sit down for this. It all stems from a rather unsanitary source, the soda and ice machines at fast food establishments. These machines, while essential for producing that cold, refreshing soda, can sometimes harbor bacteria and contaminants, including fecal matter. It's not a pleasant thought, but it's an issue that has cropped up due to inadequate cleaning practices and over site, as the machines are notoriously difficult to clean properly. While the presence of fecal matter in soda is far from being an industry-wide epidemic, it's a disconcerting reminder of the importance of proper hygiene and sanitation in food service, because you never know what might creep into your meal. I think I'll just have some water. Food coloring and hyperactivity. So orange. Ever heard the rumor that food coloring can send kids on a wild, hyperactive roller coaster causing mayhem at the dinner table? Well, guess what? This one isn't just a rumor. There's some scientific truth to it. Let's dive into the fascinating world of food coloring and its impact on behavior and health, especially in kids. While food coloring does add a vibrant, eye-catching element to the dining experience, it turns out it comes with unintended consequences. Artificial food dyes have been linked to a host of behavioral issues, with hyperactivity in children taking the spotlight. You've earned yourself a timeout, young man. These dyes are found in a wide array of foods, from ice cream to beverages. The vibrant reds, blues, and greens that make these treats so visually appealing have been connected in studies with an increased risk of hyperactivity and attention problems in children. This link became so significant that many countries took action by placing restrictions or requiring warning labels on products containing these dyes. It's like a colorful roller coaster of energy thanks to those seemingly harmless food dyes. It's important to note that not all kids are equally affected and the extent of the impact can vary. Some children may be more sensitive to these dyes than others, leading to a wide spectrum of reactions. While the colorful treats are undoubtedly fun, the science suggests that moderation and awareness are key to ensuring that the dyes dining experience is a balanced one, where the excitement stays on the plate and not in the playground. They have ice cream! 
We're always open, so tap or click for another great video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.